Hello there, Aku here again. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed. I'm back down under my farm. I'm going to carry on doing the logistics pipe stuff. Now, I don't 100% know what I'm doing here. I'm kind of working out as I go along. Um, basically, each thing that needs things put in it, like a planter or the bioreactor, it needs one of these things, a supplier pipe. So let's make another couple of supplies. We need one for this planter and we need one for that bioreactor. So let's go on with that. Um, so basic logistics pipe and lapis either side is how we get our supplier pipe. So that's nice and straightforward. So we'll get a couple more supplier pipes. Oh, one on here. This is not connected yet. This is um, the only thing that's actually working at the minute is if I've got a little setup here. I'll show you that in just a second when we put this on. So put that one on there so that's the two little supply pipes we need i'll cover this in a minute as well but basically i set up a little system here just to feed this cocoa farm and so what this is doing is we've got our power junction there connected to our conduits and then i've got a logistics pipe connected to the power junction so that makes these logistics pipes green these have got power as opposed to these ones that are all got the red dots which have not got power so that's the first thing you need to do we need to get power to them and then little setup here this is a provider pipe and provider pipe if i get my wrench no that's a lie i don't think um, i can wrench that much oh, i can look okay that does have an inventory as well um empty that'll provide everything that comes into there so only obviously that's a dsu so only one thing's in it anyway so i don't need to do anything with that the basic logistics pipe i can wrench that as well i think yeah i can look i can have that so that requested it so if i had these on chests now i'm thinking if uh, let me start different if i was if i knew what i was doing with this before i'd set this up i'd do it completely different just so you know um i'd probably have a line of dsus over here with provider pipes um provider pipes on the on the edge of these and um the normal logistics pipe seeing which DSU for it to go in and then separate providers off then that's that's probably how I'd do it but um as it is I'm just gonna work it in the system I've already got. So provider pipe lets this chest or this inventory provide into the network and then supplier pipe here if I wrench that items to keep stocked 64 cocoa beans. Um partial requests no I'm gonna put partial request to yes not that it'll ever run out. If it did run out and there was only like 54 in there, I'd want it to still put in because then it could start up again. If you know what I mean? So that means, I guess that means that partial request means if there's only 50 odd in the inventory, it'll still send. Whereas if that was set to no, I think it'd wait for 64 before it'd send again. So I think partial request, yes, is probably the safer option. And then if we look in here, you'll see that this is just getting kept with 64 cocoa beans in so that's our buttons in there because it's maintaining that 64 so that's how it works on one little thing now of course i'm making a bigger network here um so the th what i need to do is um so i'm hoping it doesn't start spitting things all over the place but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that off and we'll use my force wrench so it maintains it keeps its power i'll grab my force wrench pop that off and that's gonna go there I think uh, where can it go yeah it can go there so I'm gonna put the power junction thing there I'll bloody pop up from my mouse raise a synapse thing gets right on my nerves does it all a bloody time um so yeah so I want one of these uh, normal logistics pipes has to be on here touching this so the, where's that gone there it is basic logistics pipe so we need one basic logistics pipe touching the power junction somewhere and that means all these are green now even though we're not set to do anything with them so all i need to do now is i'm using covers to keep it all tidy by the way as you can see so i can actually cover that bit up so we don't have to do anything else with that um I could cover it up all the way down to there. What I'm going to do is change this so that now that goes up to there and that connects to there. There's already a pipe under that. There we go. 
So now you should see that this has still got 64 in because, well, it's just filling it back up, look. Is it filling it back up? 55? 54? Come on, fill up. Is that doing it right? Uh, anywhere where there's a junction. Of course. Hmm. Apparently anywhere where there's a junction you want it to be a logistics pipe. So that's a junction there, isn't it? So actually what I want there is a logistics pipe there because it's a junction. Like so. Is this up to 64 now? 64. So it did work. It was just bouncing things around a bit because what it needs to do is anywhere where there's a junction it needs to be able to decide which way to go. And if there's a normal pipe there it can go anywhere so it works out that it should be there. Whereas if there's a logistics pipe there, it actually knows which way it should be getting rooted. So um, that's the case then. I'd probably be better with that fastened to that. Me. I might have to use a couple of extra logistics pipes, but it don't matter. Don't matter. Uh, I'm just going to pop that off just so I can put the facade on there. And then uh, put that back on. Where's it gone? There we are. So that's this side done. So that's that feeding that. And now if we can set this. So I need one seed out of there. I need to wrench this guy and say, hey guy, I want 64. Can I fill that up any quicker? Um, yeah, of course I could. Let's grab 64. Idiot. Hmm. So wrench that. Take them out. 64. So that's saying I want to keep 64 seeds in there. And this is going to get used down pretty quick because... See that? Yeah, I've got that junction issue again there, haven't I? You see, it's sending things that way. And when it's sitting that, it says, oh, I don't want to go this way. I actually want to go that way, please. So let's just break that again. I need to make some more logistics pipes, don't I? Some more basics, there we go, so that's a bit tired yet. And I'm breaking these just to put the covers on. I think you have to break them. There may be some secret way of doing it that I don't know about, but uh, it's quick enough to break them, so I'm just breaking them. Oh shit. Um, there we go, so... And because I like things tidy, I'm putting them on the edges there as well. So now we can cover that up. So that's the wheat farm sorted. Now the wheat farm, let's just break a bit of glass here and go have a look. The wheat farm has been disconnected overnight, so that was empty of wheat, so all this should be fresh seeds. Yeah, look, it's just replanted all them, so that's definitely where it's planted everything. Um, so that's okay. One thing I want to check, which I wasn't sure if it works or not, it seems to work fine is because the wheat farm has two outputs it has seeds and wheat what i've done is i've put the dsu right on either side of the um of the farm there the harvester and i've put these numbers on here because i wanted to make sure that the seeds and the wheat was actually going into them. i wasn't sure if it was going to if it knew which way to send them or not it seems to know so 3074 that's used some ups since last time but 4273 so that's gone up from 4273 to 4398 so it seems to put me in the right sides so that's okay and um, I'm gonna connect I'm gonna connect up to these other ones as well cotton and stuff not but we don't use them in the reactor but I'm gonna grab it so I've got a, I can pull them out from other, other somewhere but, uh, so that's that bit so wheat sorted and cocoa sorted up to now so let's cover I'm gonna have to make, have to make miles more of these covers aren't I because I want all my floor looking nice and tidy. Um, so it's just a case of carrying on with the rest of the stuff then. So these of course, so this is carrots, nether wart, these don't need planters. So the rest that don't need planters are a lot, quite a bit simpler. All they need is a provider pipe and connected to the system. So we've got green lights there, that's good. So that's all connected fan. So if I had enough facades, we could just cover all that up and be done with that. 
and then it comes down to here now this is the supplier so with this when we arrange this instead of just having one lot of 64 in this we're going to want nine lots of 64 so we're going to want 64 seeds for example it's got green lights hasn't it yep that should connect again junction so it's bouncing badly so let's put that into there that should work better okay and all it's done, look it's not using this it's just keeping 64 there so that's that's cool I like that that's fine um could we, should we keep it so it's got 64 up there as well i guess we could just have it so that it's asking for 128 if we ask it for 128 what will happen well there may be a quicker way of doing this but there seems to be a quicker way of getting rid of them you can get rid of them like 16 at a time or something 128 127 is the best I can do okay so I keep 64 there and 63 up here that's all right isn't it yeah I like that um but that's not really needed so me we'll have 64 in there cool so it's just a case of getting 64 of each of these in adding them to the thing so let's grab let's grab some more of these you can go back in there and um, this thing's connecting of course this is potatoes so I'll bring that down Um, actually what I'll do with this is I'm gonna break that and that and that and put the potatoes over this side instead down is the output provide a pipe onto there and then I can just connect that there that's miles better in it miles better so that's that connected and I can just cover that hole up with a stone brick so now wrench let's grab these two might as well grab them all while we're here another one carrots so I'll wrench that again potato uh, oops, carrots another what potato cocoa beans so we're missing saplings pumpkin melon and um, ink so we can sort that one in a minute let's just check if that's okay 64 yep yeah, looking good 64 64 64 64 wonderful this is working perfectly up to now so let's just put these um spare ones back what am i doing click on the wrong thing no idea how much power this uses um i still think i like applied energistics better but once i know this more i think i'll uh I think I like them both just as much to be honest but uh, the reason why I'm thinking that is because level limiter control I'd, I'm going to end up with millions of some of these items and uh, it's it's power use all the time to keep farming them whereas I do like to turn up I, I like to maintain a, a limited stock so I can actually not use the power not because I ain't got the power just because I like to set it up so I don't use it you know but anyway so going on to this side this side's a little bit more complicated well not really but what I've done here is provide a pipe. In fact, let me show you. So I put provide a pipe on the bottom of the saplings. So that should connect. I've also put one on the side of the logs and I've put one on the side of the um, charcoal. Because we can use this not just for the farm but to, to drag, drag other stuff out. Like I said, I'm going to do with the cotton. So I've put them there as well. What I had to do, that's because that's on this side um, I put another plug on that wooden transport pipe there so that's the one that sends logs into the um, sawmill so it's plugged on two sides even though it's got a 
I'll attack it get in there. You can see it's got a plug on this side so it doesn't attach to that, that DSU. And it's got a plug on this side so it doesn't attach to that power pipe, uh, logistics pipe. So that's pretty cool the fact you can plug the pipes really nicely. So we've got Sakura and that's connected. So Sakura saplings should work in it when I wrench this in as well. Let's have a look. Sixty-four Sakura, please. So, is that not connected yet? Let's see if I've got any gaps. Oh no, there you see it going along. Ah, of course, right. I've got junction issues. Right, I'm gonna brick camera. I'm gonna make a few more. Oh shit! Look, that's uh, a problem, isn't it? Let's just break that pipe for now, and then there's no junction issue there. So that's me connect, connect up to the reeds. Um, right, yeah. I'll brick camera in a minute. Just before I brick camera, let me just show you what's going on here. So because we actually need melon 64, cool. Because we need melon and pumpkin as seeds, I need a way to actually get it from how they are when they come out the farm to how we want them. So what I've done, I've made a couple of cyclic assemblers. So, this deep storage unit was the one that was up there. And I've changed it so that melon comes down into this cyclic assembly. And I made the schematic there. One pumpkin before becomes four pumpkin seeds. So this is using a bit of power. But I thought it was the best way of doing it. And then, so, this is going to make all the melon that come out of this farm straight into melon seeds. And put them into that DSU underneath there. So we've got, sorry, not melon, sorry, pumpkin. So we're getting pumpkin seeds straight into the DSU. The out is the west. So really, this should work fine. So let's wrench this again. And say 64 melon as well, please. We should see melon seeds going in there, which looks to be the case. 64 melon seeds, awesome. That's from when I had too many in the uh, thing there, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's changing that. And then this this is the old deep storage unit. All I'm doing is I'm changing all these pumpkins into um, into the pumpkin seeds as well. So I'm just getting rid of that. So I just banged, this is temporary. I banged that deep storage unit there with a wooden pipe when I'll target get. I need to do the same here for the, for the melon. So the melon's exactly the same. The problem with melon is though, we get these full melons, and as far as I can tell, there's no way of processing these automatically. If I press U, before in the last version you could run them through, I think it was a fairness, which I believe is a Greg Tech thing. You can change things through a fairness. This, there's no way of, according to any eye at least, there's no way of automatically making these into melon slices. So what I think I'm going to do, is I'm just going to avoid these, because we get that many melons anyway. I mean, if you want to see how many melons we've got, 43, well, 44,000 melons. So it's not like I'm going to run out. But the same as the other way, what I need to do is wooden pipe onto there. Wrench that the right way. Put a torch on there for no reason. Or target gate. I just want this set to energy pull set. What that's going to do is going to put all the melon on the floor because I've not set that up right. Uh, input from the back. There we go. So that's going to start sending melon into the back of that cyclic assembler as well. So you won't see it, but that is actually turning them into seeds. So they're going into there. And it's putting them, in, it should be putting them into that DSU. So you see that's going up nice and quick. And again, we need another provider pipe. I've run out of pipes now, though, so I am going to have to break camera. And at the minute, I've got like 7,000 of these melon in there. I'm thinking of just void piping these. So I've still got a diamond pipe there, just sending melon, uh, full melons to blue. At the minute, I'm storing them. But like I say, I think I'm just going to void. I think. Not 100%. Yeah, screw it. I'm not going to void them. Uh, I'm actually going to change this, and I'm going to put my diamond pipe up there. That's going to fall out on me. Um, so gold pipe. 
we're going to want melons to go to black and we're going to want full melons to go to blue so let's grab one of each full melon I've got a single melon good good so oh shit black is going to be melon slice blue is going to be full melon and then void pipe so I'm just voiding all the full melons Bit of a waste, but like I say, I've got that many. I don't think it's an issue. And I will tidy that up with some facades up there in a bit. Um, so that can come out of the way. And like I say, that's temporary, and just until that gets emptied. Right, I'm going to break camera. I'm going to make um, one, two, two. Uh, three. Three more provider pipes. And I'll be back when I've done that. Okay then, I'm back. Uh, I've tidied up a little bit. I've tidied the these up with some covers. So that's where that void pipe is under there, look. And uh, I've got some more logistics pipes, as I said I would have. So what I need is a provider there. A uh, provider at that junction there. And uh, provider there, and one on the string, I think. So, four providers. So, let's get them med. Now, providers, I believe, like so. Yes, excellent. One, two, three, four of them. Four providers, then. So, first thing I need to do is break that junction and make that into a provider. Nope, that's a light. Break that junction, make it into a normal logistics pipe, is what I meant. There we go, now I can connect that back to there. So a provider wants to be on that guy. And now we can connect that back up. So connect and connect. Wonderful. And get my covers back in action. Cover that, cover that, cover that. That's all already done. So that was right one in provider yet. So then provider here. So I've made one provider too many there, probably. So now that can provide as well. So let's grab 64 melon seeds. What are you doing down there, Tom? God damn it, NPCs. Um, the son of a bitch. I do. I will actually need that for the squid. So that's cool. No, click on that. Add 64 melon seeds to the mix. Um, so I wanted that to work on partials, didn't I? Just in case any run out. So partial request, yes. Uh, same with that. Well, I remember partial request, yes. So that should have 64 in there. Yep, yeah, it's got. Oh, we're out of squid ink. So I need to get on with the squid ink bit quicker than I expected to. So that's not really running efficient at the minute. So I'm just going to turn it off for a minute. I want it to run at max efficiency. Well, well it can. So there's no point in me running it at the minute when it's not doing it properly. So let's put that on there. Um, I've, got, I've got access still to put stuff back in. So that's done. Let's say that's temporary. That's temporary. Um, provide it onto here just so this is part of the system as well and uh, let's put that gold pipe that back there I just took that off in case it was spitting things out everywhere so I think I've got all the junctions covered I think everything's covered wonderful so the next bit then is let's get squid ink here now I made squid ink bit of a clue there what's gonna happen next as well um, I made a couple more bioreactors that we're gonna fasten up to that so I need two more supplies for them as well. Um, if you remember, I did the squid ink over at the animal farm over here using triple black ender chest. So I'm going to make another ender chest for over there. Which I started getting some of the bits ready for. But, uh, I forgot to complete, so let's get that done. Oh, you son of a bitch. What are blaze rods? Okay, um back in a sec so we'll get a couple more blaze rods so here I am just in the uh, nether grabbing a few more blaze rods 
from the spawner that I surrounded by stone bricks. Just keep the mob spawning inside it a bit more. I think they might actually be able to get out a little bit as well. Have I done it wrong? I don't see anyone on the outside. Can I hear some though? Let's that guy I can hear. So of course with the looting sword I get these pretty quick. Um, I have actually got a full blaze spawner it's shell shard. I just haven't got around to making any farms yet for mobs. It's not they're on the list of course. Uh, it's not be silly. I'll keep an eye on that. So if you look in there I've got 1024 blazes up to 803 with the skeletons. I need another two skeleton spawners. Um, what I did is, if you remember when I first found this fortress, oh sods, when I first found this fortress, I could see on the mini map there was one that way as well. So I flew on that way, and there was like four, no, there was three in there. There was a blaze spawn over there, and there was I got a couple on camera the other day. Was it on the on the live stream on um, from a fortress over that way somewhere? So I've basically drank up six six um, spawners to fill that soul shard up. Yeah, well, that's enough of them anyway. Let's put some light back around here. In fact, screw it. I'll, I'll leave the light so that if I need to come back there'll be some spawned in there maybe when I start getting close. One well, there is all of a hat on. Give me your hat. Chest hat, wonderful. And uh, that was a new one. So, I can make a blade... Um, I can, I'll sort my inventory out, back in a bit. Okay then, so, ender chest, let's make that. So I've got another black ender chest. So if I was to put this down, you'd see that it'd be full of, of uh, squid ink. Put you back. Be full of squid ink. So all I need to do is make this connect to the uh, network somewhere, don't I? So I could put it anywhere really, I guess. Hmm. I think I'll just have it. Hmm. Why shall I have it? <laughs> As if something this simple is there. Makes me deliberate for ages. There. So I'm going to want to provide a pipe. And uh, end a chest. So that should be full of squid ink and it is so that can that's now attached to the system let me just uh, sort that cover out god damn it there we go try again um yeah that's fine so that can now provide to the system as well so if we put squid ink into the supply there as well does it work Perfect, look at that. So I've got a fully automated fully automated production of uh, biofuel there. Excellent. And now all I want to do is I want to up that a bit because it's pretty slow. Like I said that is quick enough to run two boilers at full temperature, not enough to warm boilers up. Um but it's definitely enough to run them at two t at, at full temperature enough to run two. I'm going to be running four boils off this so for a bit of redundancy I'm going to make six. So the next thing I then I need to do is I need two more supplier pipes and I'm actually out with golden chipset so something else I want to make as well. So I'm not going to make at the minute I don't think. Is that wrong? Um, let's just look at it instead of trying to guess. At logistics. And then page two. Where is it? Supply logistics pipe. Oh, of course, it's just too bloody idiot. Um, the other thing I want to make there was a request logistics pipe, which is an iron gear, a basic pipe, and a golden chipset. So I'll make that instead. I thought I made an iron gear for you, may have noticed it in my inventory there. Um, what I can do with this is just curiously bang it anywhere. Let's say. Uh, Let's have it kind of like stuck in the middle of the... I'm in a junction there now, aren't I? Damn it. Um, what we can do with this is, if I click on that with my wrench, it shows you everything that's on this little network. So I can, for example, I can say I want... 
What's that doing then? 1, 10, 85. Request. That should have spat 85 wool out at me. Cut on at me. There it is. So, I've got that thing there that can spit things out at me. Kind of cool, isn't it? Um, I don't like the way I put it though. <laughs> to be honest. Because that needs another junction underneath it, doesn't it? Uh, hmm. So yeah, you can that can go to crafting chests and stuff as well. But that's just a useful little item there that you can use to pull things out if you needed to pull things out for any reason. But uh, yeah, I think I actually will get rid of that for now though. I just wanted to show you that. So oh, that will be getting used at some point in the future. Yeah, I can get rid of that. I've got my no, yeah. come on break. Thank you. Uh, I'll put them back in there for now. And cotton. And I need a bit of lapis then, don't I? Bit of lapis for two more supplier pipes. Let's quickly grab that. And um, in fact, I'll set that up off camera. All I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two more bio reactors, exactly the same as that. And then we'll start seeing about how much resources we're short of making our boilers for the laser drill over there. So I'll back in a little bit. So there we go then, the farm's uh, done, logistic pipe automated, automation fully done, I've got my electric two bio reactors on there, and just a liquid duct, feeding the liquid into the ender tank there, so that's all good. So this is going up nice and quick now, well not nice and quick but you know, quick enough, uh, well quick enough to run six boilers technically, six at temp boilers, but uh, yeah, that's all good, it's all good. So if I head back over here, and before we carry on, I'm just going to update my um, to-do list, because it's a little bit out of date. Let's just throw a few things out of the way. Uh, glass. 6,000 melons can go in there. And I'll just sling them things in there. <laughs> Oops, that was the wrong chest. They don't go in there. That does that. They go in there. Craftable items, crafted items, should I say. And I'll keep hold of some small stone because it always comes in handy. All good, right? Excellent, excellent. So let's quickly update this. Now I'm gonna, I'll, I'll reorder this off camera. But magmatic engines, that's done. So that can go. Now let's delete number one. Automate farms, logistics pipes network. That's done. So we can get that done. I'll get that off as well. Uh, boilers for laser drill. That's what we're with next. I can live it as for. I can live it for milk. Well, I'm going to use them for in here as well. I think so. I'm going to make a few of them. Um, Steve's cats tree farm for forced trees. We need to get on with that at some point. Animal farms. We've done them. That's all done and automated. Um, not fully automated. I need to start sending wheat to them on demand. Um, so we will put that there. Automate. Animal farms. Just need to get the wheat to the breeders. That's the only bit that we're missing there. So we'll put wheat there. Eh? Yeah. Um, mob farms not done yet. ME network not done yet. We'll see where I'm taking ongoing bees farm craft research. Okay, so that's where we're up to. So boilers for laser drill. We've got wrong with now. Um, ME network. I'll move that up. M E network. Get rid of that from down there. And as you saw, mob farms need to be doing pretty quick as well. But M E network is going to be as soon as I start getting resources from the laser drills, I'm going to start making an M E network to try and process them resources. But, um, that's what we need to be getting on with. So let's look at our to do list. It's slightly short. Eh? So I'll tidy it up a little bit off camera, but. Them two are going to stay on the bottom anyway. I'll just move that off one. So next then, boilers. We want four boilers. So let's have a look at um, firebox. The first we need to make is some liquid fueled fireboxes. We have 36 of these. It's quite a lot, isn't it? So uh, 36, that's a lot of steel plates. So 9, 18, 27, 36. Yeah, 36. Because we're making four boilers. So... 36, 20, 40, 44 steel plates, a lot of steel plates, 
Um, I think I've got four. <laughs> yeah, I have. So I need 140 steel plates making. So we need more steel. I've got more steel cooking. But I'll cook all that into steel plates. As now that I know that I'm going to need it. All the steel we've, that we've got. So where's my... Where's my... There it is. Rolling machine. And I need access to power. Have we got any? Yep, there we go. So... There. there get as many as we can. Which looks like it's going to be... 31 at the minute. So they're cooking. Um, what else do we need? So fire charge, 36 fire charges. So is that seven? Seven sixes? Six? Seven? No, no. Oh, Christ, my mind's gone blank. Um, <laughs> five, six, isn't it? Six sixes, 36, dickhead. So let's get them made. Gunpowder. Blaze powder. Yeah, blaze powder. So some of these blaze rods we just got actually need to turn into blaze powder. Let's get them pulverized. Oh, that's what I meant to mention. I went and found... Well, I didn't find it. I just used a map. Um, I went to a hollow hill. So where we're at in the um, Twilight Forest is... I went looking for another big hollow hill and I want any. So if we look at our map, let it load up. Come on, map load up. It normally shows all the shit on it. Even though, even when you're not in the toilet for it for me. Oh well. Um, oh, imagine about number zero. Cool. Uh, the large hill that we're at, over to the right somewhere. Just straight north of that, there was a medium hill. So I've been in the medium hill. That's where I've got all this gold and stuff from. So medium hill. Got, some, got plenty of iron and gold because I knew I'd need it. That's what I've kind of been grabbing mostly is iron and gold. I've been grabbing other, other bits and bobs as well, but mostly that. And in the chest in there, I found this thing on crafting table. This is really useful, especially because I've got, uh, for example, I've got a spare rancher, three spare planters, some spare sewers. I probably won't be able to craft the sewers, but the wrench, the planter, will that work? So the planter will work. With nine levels, I can turn this back into its constituent parts so I can get machine frame back get a con uh, con uh, reception coil so at some point so they're not wasted all that extra them extra planters that I made if you remember I made five for the farms and it, it turns out we need two so now I've got an uncrafting table I will be able to uncraft all them spare bits that I don't need which is kind of awesome quite happy with that um cool cool so yeah, uh, I've grabbed all kind of other shit as well. Uh, these ore magnets. Ore magnets are quite interesting if you've never seen them. I'll just use it really quick. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll use it. I'll use it over here. Because then I won't mind what it brings up. But what you can do with an ore magnet is if you put it on the ground, it'll pull up the most expensive piece of ore it can find. Which in that case was a shitty bit of monazit. I might actually have this as my floor up here. Wrong the laser drill, what do you reckon? So as you can see there, it's burned through that one already, but uh, they're a bit useless. If you're in a pinch you can pull something to the surface, but I might actually do my floor, so my floor's all ours around the laser drill. Bit different, isn't it? So yeah, I've got loads of them. And um, what else we've got? Peacock fan, another room crafting table, I've actually got two. Uh, some transformation powder, which can make overwell stuff into twilight forest stuff and vice versa. So you can make a twilight forest uh, fire witch into a normal witch stuff like that yeah anyway so 36 36 wonderful that's 36 of them sorted then 36 bloody buckets I've got 16 and another 20 buckets it's crazy isn't it who makes 20 buckets uh, so that's going to be 60 isn't it come on it right there. Loads of buckets. I should actually make some spare buckets as well because uh, I use I like to carry a few buckets from with me. And uh, what else was needed there? 36 furnaces and um, 72 iron bars. I've got the iron bars already. So eight. And 36 furnaces. 
So a stack of cobble is only eight in it. So I'm gonna have to mix some of these um, compressed cobble stacks back into normal cobble. I have to make it more than I thought. Um, right, okay, let's sort this out then. So I need thirty-six. Thirty-six cobble, wonderful. And uh, let's put the rest of these back into. That's just some compressed blocks from um, extra utilities. You can compress your cobble into blocks, makes it a little bit easier to keep them stored when you haven't got an ME network. You don't really need it once you get an ME network, but uh, until you get one, it's pretty useful for just giving yourself a little bit more space. Now, I don't think there's enough here, was there? We'll see how far we get. So, 36 of them. Yeah, we definitely ain't got enough, have we? Definitely ain't got enough. Got enough for 32 up to now. So it's 16, 32, and uh, get a bit more steel from in here. Now we're going to need a shit ton of steel as well. To actually uh, make all the engines an absolute shit ton of steel. If I use engines, I could of course use power converters, but I think I'm going to use steel. What I should have done is took another stack of iron over there and got that in the cooker. Get that in the blast furnace. What's what you got on your head, Frosty? Some kind of cage? Hannibal Lecter? Possibly. Frosty's a cannibal. So we are going to need a um, load of these for the engines as well. And oh, of course we're going to need them for the, for the bloody tanks. So I'm going to need an absolute metric pull ton of steel. I'll probably have to use all the iron up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just get enough to get this going for now. It's going to be 16, isn't it? And then I'll have to get some more iron mined off camera for the actual upper bits. Here we go, 36 liquid fuel fireboxes. I'm kind of going big style with this, you might have noticed. <laughs> um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Of course I've put that shit right where I'm going to um, have the boilers, idiot. Is that too close? I think I actually want it one back one. I want it there, I think. Yep. So, then, and then. Nine. So, we've got three, two. Have I, have I built this wrong? Three. Oh, no, I built that wrong. <laughs> do, do, do. And then. Over here as well. So that's where my four boilers are going to go. I say each boiler is going to have 18 engines, all feeding one of these pre charges each. So this should run pretty quick. Pretty quick. It runs, it takes a lot of power, but it should be getting the power at a decent rate. So it should be able to run at full crack. Full crack. In theory, we'll see. Um, okay, I'll break then. I'll get some more cylinder gas. See how many the um, boiler tanks we can get ready to go not gonna be many I think is it 72 for each boiler or is it more is it 144 for each boiler it's a lot in it so and we haven't got engines yet so it's gonna take a while right back in a little bit okay then uh, I'm gonna wrap up in a minute uh, I've got nowhere near enough steel so I'm gonna have to do a bit of mining off camera I've got just about enough to make almost one boiler, <laughs> not quite. Uh, I've changed this floor, I made it so it's the white force bricks, and I use a bit of a uh, bloodstained block in the middle there just to give it a bit of colour. I think my best bet here is to get one boiler done, then get all the engines for one boiler done, get that one boiler warmed up using the biofuel, and then um, 
start mining with one to get more resources to get the rest. Makes sense? So I maybe wasted quite a lot of it. Well, not wasted. I maybe used a bit more steel than I needed to making all these bases. But uh, it's kind of, I want to show the intent of what I'm planning in here. I'm going to change these walls to something a little bit better later on as well. These are just for, uh, these are just temporary. So what I can do though at the minute is I can get some liquid tetracts. And of course, down in the bottom of the mill, we've got a little water plant. That was, the whole point of that was, at some point, because of this, what I'm going to want is, I want liquid tetracts under each of these. Receive only. Turn that off. Water. So what I'll do, that'll put the water in the boilers, and I won't have to worry about that at all. So I'm going to put one of them on each of them. Uh, I was hoping to have enough steel just to make the last for that just so I've got a complete boiler there um, I, want, I kind of want to finish up as well though eh, it's not going to be enough is it what's that going to be that's going to get me oh four that is going to be enough wonderful that's there uh, I'll get me four steel plates come here you so let's make that then at least we've got one boiler completed Um not fully decided yet whether I'm going to use tesseracts or ender tanks for the biofuel transfer. Like I said, I'm enjoying using ender tanks, but uh, I think I probably will have like an ender tank in the middle of here somewhere with liquid ducts running to all four boilers, or possibly two ender tanks, one for a pair them up. Possibly, possibly. Uh, that ain't enough, is it? That's just two. God damn it. I didn't have enough. Did my math wrong. Okay, so well, I can't really finish. Next episode, I'll see what to do, but uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do a bit of off-camera mining. I've, I've, I've got a live stream coming up after this episode, of course. So there should be a little thing on the screen up here saying live stream at uh, 2 o'clock English time, if you're watching this when it first came up. If the live stream's still running, that'll be there. Once, once I've finished doing the live stream, I'll take the annotation down. So as long as the annotation's there, I am live streaming. So it'll probably be like three hours after this video will an hour after this video goes up for three hours how was that sound okay so we've mission accomplished for this episode then we've automated the farms we've got biofuel coming in we've showed our tent intent with the boilers what i'm planning on doing so i think it's a good place to wrap up as always thank you very much for joining i hope it's entertaining and um i hope we keep coming back to see what happens next cheers bye